okay let's see if we can just clarify this a bit more um, I'm in uh, Zara Web Designer 11 Premium um, I'll just drag this down for a second just so you can see it uh, it's and the um, the new version I haven't purchased it yet I'm just using it uh, and I've loaded the uh, gallery uh, web uh, web page into into it so you can see now um, first and foremost let's just go up here a minute uh, this is in the way again here now yep um, let's go here I'm in the selector tool which is the arrow and if I click on this anywhere within that this area here I don't know if you can see these tiny little dots here so it's, it's a widget it says down here is a widget and you can edit it okay so I've clicked that with select the tool so it's selected uh, if you look down in the status bar at the bottom here it says one HTML place up placeholder on layer mouse off okay so if I and under there it says widget edit so I'm going to edit that widget and this opens another page within Zara Web Designer um, which is a, a simple th uh, thumbnail gallery and um, you can then scroll through and these are the various pictures that by default are in the gallery right, so let's scroll back up to here now what we need to do is open up um, Windows Explorer, Windows File System, whatever you call it, it's basic to it to any Windows computer. If I just go and click on computer, let's download, I'll pull this down here a minute, it downloads all my various um, files and not from the phone and various um, hard drives I've got on this uh, computer. Um, but for now, I just want to use Dropbox. Um, I could use the desktop. I could use the, the C drive but I'll go into, into Dropbox and I'll go into the camera uploads um, just loading that up for a minute and just scroll down a bit um, so I can get some I think these are fairly large images um, just bear with me doesn't really matter so I'm going to just move that off screen a bit um, and I'm going to drag and drop that photograph on top of the photograph of suitcases and you see that the icon has changed to a little arrow with a plus key and if I just release the mouse that photograph is loaded um, and if I drag this photograph down onto this next photograph it changes to a little plus sign and that one has changed um, you can actually select um, several I haven't really got many photographs worth um, actually doing but if I um, say select there's quite a few photographs and just drag and drop them on there you can see it's importing the photographs and I think I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's about like 12 photos um, and I'll say add new photos and you can see now that all the images have been changed and there's new images being put on um, so if I then go I can either click close and it will ask me to save it or I can just, or I can just save it, and it will close automatically. So I'm going to click close there, and save it. And there we have um, the new gallery. And if I pull this down a bit, preview the gallery. down again I can click on them 
and get the, the larger images as you require. Um, probably, yeah, I think you can get more than those uh, eight that are in there, but it's just the way that um, I did it previously. Um, I should have uh, probably merged them so I could get more than eight photographs. Anyway, I hope that helped. This is Egg. All the best. Goodbye. That's done.